This is a vintage bicycle computer I got on eBay. It's a Schwinn Speed thing from 1991. Still in the package, brand new. I only paid $10 for it. Uh, I'm sure the battery's probably dead, so I got some new batteries. And I'm gonna put it on my uh, father's vintage Huffy wind sprint. Here's everything out of the package. Got the instructions, the display, the back that goes on the handlebars, fork sensor and the spoke sensor, and some more mounting um, zip ties and tape. Okay, so the battery is dead, like I figured. So I got these new ones, and uh, I'll take this backing off and put it in. All right, so I just put the new battery in. Let's see if this works. Hey, there we go. The sensor turned it on. Cool. First, you want to calibrate this. And uh, you do that by hitting the little black button in the back. It starts out at 50, I think, and you just keep going up, just keep going up, just keep going up until it goes in increment. Um, this is a regular road bike at 27 inches and one one fourth. So I'm gonna put it at 86. I'm just gonna keep going up. I don't know why it's not defaulted at 86, but it's 1991, you know? They weren't thinking about this stuff yet. Now there's no buttons on this bicycle computer, so the speed is displayed here on the left side in big numerals and miles per hour then your distance is gauged here in these black bars that go over the top since you can't reset it it's 40 minutes after the bicycle computer hasn't been rotated it'll reset itself okay so it's installed and it's working I just wrapped it around once, the handlebars, to give it some tightness. I left a lot of slack on them, on both these zip ties, just in case I have to adjust this at some point. If you're comfortable with it, you can tighten it down. Uh, I put the spoke sensor as close as possible to the hub. Also, the fork sensor is close enough. And I left a three millimeter gap, and it's picking up the right um, miles per hour and, and distance. So now I'll give you a road test. Like I said, you'll see it flash in four or two second intervals between the miles per hour and the distance. It flashes back and forth. Um, the only reset for the miles per hour and all the information is either 40 minutes after the bike's not running anymore, it'll just clear out or you could take the battery out. That's how I recalibrated it earlier. <laughs> Down. <laughs> yeah, a little. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.